music. I'm good. When there is fear, you got to tell them to go home. Yeah. Come on. Yes. What do I mean, prophet? Sometimes we're around the wrong people. Yes. And God is giving you a phenomenal vision. Yes. And because the people can't see the vision yes. and they're fearful and afraid, oh. it does something to your spirit when you're trying to communicate what God is trying to do. And all of a sudden now you become afraid. Yes. I can just testify for about 10 seconds. Before I got on the plane, some of everybody tried to discourage me. They tried to tell me that Africa was not the place to come to do ministry. How crazy is that? Like God is not all over the world. And I just kept saying, Satan, the Lord rebuke you. They kept trying to tell me that you were so full of witchcraft that if I were not careful, the enemy would try to kill me and kill my son. Then I got to the airport after rebuking all of that. And here comes a stranger who has never even been to South Africa who says to me, be careful because they'll kidnap you. I'm going to kidnap you today. I said, well, if they kidnap me, I'll just witness to them. Because you cannot hold captive what belongs to God anyway. That's why you got to be careful of who's around you. I had to lose about 30 friends. And I had to pull together a prayer team of about three. I just told you I started with 30. And I ended up with about three prayer warriors that could pray for me while I was down here. And then I got here and I called them. And I said, the devil is a lie. It is just like being at home. Don't let the devil fool you. They got more worship and more glory and more anointing. But when the enemy knows that God has something to release for you, he will do everything to terrify you and begin to attack you in the spirit realm. And that's why you got to be with the people that are assigned by God. We're spending too much time thinking that friendship is casual. We're calling too many people sissy and boot. You better get over it. Everybody ain't your sister. And everybody ain't your brother. Everybody ain't your grandmama. Everybody ain't your uncle. Everybody's not your church mother. Everybody's not your spiritual father. You got to make sure that whoever you are naming as a part of you is assigned by God. Tell all your scary friends who don't want to do battle in the kingdom, go home, baby. Get off my telephone. Don't call me. Don't come by. Don't pigeon message me. Don't write any letters.